first I knew that we had to redeem ourselves from the previous game. So we knew we had to come out early and set the tone and just don't pout about the last game. So I, I felt like the first quarter we was doing good. We brought it, but after halftime, we didn't bring it like we did the first half. And I just feel like that's what we need to work on, finishing the game. You, uh, you went to the line quite a bit tonight. Um, you, got a, you made a good percentage of your, uh, your free throws as well. How big is that? Um, how big was that tonight for you guys? Uh, it was a big deal because lately we haven't been making free throws a lot. So I feel as though since I'm the senior and leader that once they see me making free throws and making it a big deal, they will too. What does it mean to, to get another win here, and especially um, a tough Jackson Middle State team that's been close the last couple of years? What does it mean for, for you guys to come out uh, of tonight's game with a win? Um, it, it means a lot, and like I've been telling the team, because I didn't experience it and seen it myself, like everybody we play, they're going to play their hardest against us, and I was just happy that we didn't let that interfere. We just brought it, even though it was ugly. It was still a win. Anything you want to add about your teammates' performances tonight? Anything stand, up, stand out to you? Um, Zaire, she she picked it up. She was making shots. Lately, she hasn't been making a lot of shots, but this game – she was. Uh, Chelsea, she kind of been down lately, but she brought it too. And Brittany as well. She was just doing what she used to do, make shots. But overall, I feel like we did good as a team. Like, we was together. Even though the times we was down, we still communicated on the court and kept bringing it. And then pout. We just kept bringing it. Well, I thought, uh, I thought the first half was really good. You know, we wanted to attack their big girls. Um, we wanted to bring them out and set ball screens and have our post kids pop. You know, our post kids are not real strong down low, not near as strong as theirs. Uh, but they do shoot the ball pretty well around the perimeter. So we was hoping that, uh, you know, we'd make them help on the screens and uh, pop and shoot or drive. Uh, you know, and, and we were looking for mismatches. We, we put in a little uh, play during the week where we was going to post our guards. And uh, I think we got three layups on, on that, and we didn't uh, finish any of them. But I thought we played pretty good the first half uh, on both ends of the floor. I didn't think we got back well. We we gave up some transition buckets, and uh, those came back to haunt us the second half. When you're outsized, you're probably going to lose that battle of the board. So how important was it to force almost 30 turnovers in the game? Well, that was very important. Uh, you know, we would have liked to have stayed up there in the press more than we did, but uh, – you know, we've been giving up a lot of easy stuff here lately, so I didn't really want to stay up there. But the 1-3-1 also forced some turnovers, and then they just turned it over some without any pressure on them. But, uh, yeah, that's 29 turnovers on their part that uh, they didn't get shots. That They probably would have won the game if they hadn't turned it over so much. Uh, Monty needed to be aggressive. She scored 25. She was fouled 10 times. That was big, getting those uh, post players in trouble. You know, one of their starters only played about 12 minutes because of set foul trouble. Right. Uh, you know, Monty's been having a little trouble getting to the rim. It seems like, uh, you know, the help defense has been jamming it up. And she's had trouble getting in there and getting a good angle. But tonight she came off uh, the screens well and got into her man and got to the rim and uh, finished. And then, you know, she made uh, made pretty good free throws too. What would she make there? Uh, uh, 15 out of 19. That's, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, better than we've been doing, and uh, we'll take that. Um, you know, it's ironic. <laughs> Amani played so well, and we couldn't have won the game without her, and then down at the end, she just made, you know, some silly plays. Uh, if it hadn't been for that, she'd had a really, really good game. She, she scored. She scored. She did a great job on the front of the 1-3-1 for the most part. Uh, handled the ball, four turnovers. Um, not too bad either. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that less. She had five steals. So, uh, pretty good night for her. I wish she had finished it out a little bit stronger. Not got the ability to finish the game strong, like we were talking when we were coming up, it's probably the difference between where this team is now and a championship ball club. It is. But, you know, really, we, we haven't got to the point where we need to worry about the last two minutes. We need to go back up to about midways of the third quarter. 
because consistently this year we've come out and started the third quarter and got a little bit more space. I thought we went up there close to, what, 18? And I thought we had some opportunities there to really roll that up to maybe 25. But then we start doing the same old stuff. It's almost like we look up there and uh, we see, hey, we're up, we're up 18, the game's over. Uh, that's the point in the game if you want to win championships where – you don't see the score. It's nothing, nothing every time up there. And every possession becomes the most important possession in the game. And that's the way. And, and, you know, the real champions find some way to pick it up a notch. Okay, we're up 18. It's fixing to go to 25. We're going to play even here for three or four minutes, and then we're fixing to go on a 7 old run. You know, and then when you get to 25, we're going to play even here, two or three possessions, and we're fixing to go on a 4 old run. And then when you get to the last two minutes of the game, in any close game, you just don't make any mistakes. Nothing's easy. Um, so we're not there where we really need to worry about that. We did not execute in the last two minutes, but we're not. Our biggest concern now is not the last two minutes. we got to figure out how to be a champion until we get to the two-minute mark, and then it'll be a lot easier.